Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, be sure to turn off the water to your dishwasher. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the high loop drain hose in a GE dishwasher. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a 5 8 open on range, 70 millimeters nut driver, Phillips screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new high loop drain hose. The high loop drain hose connects the dishwasher's drain pump outlet to the drain tube. It serves as an anti siphon device, preventing dirty water from going back into the dishwasher. The main reason why the high loop drain hose would need to be replaced is if it cracks, causing a water leak. To get to the part, we need to open the door. To remove the dishwasher, we need to take out a couple of Phillips screws that uh, holds it to the countertop. Put the towel in the plastic container under the shadow valve, just in case of the water will leak down. And then using the 5 8 open-ended wrench, take off the water line. And uh, using the 7 millimeter nut driver, I'm going to loosen up that clamp, move it down, and then I'm gonna take off the holes from the air gap. Be careful, it might have some water in there. All right, now we're gonna pull out the dishwasher. I'm gonna hold it here and slowly pull it out. Lift it up. So now I'm gonna put this uh, dishwasher on its right side. I'm gonna put my foot here, jam it, and then slowly tilt it on the right. If you have a nice floors, would be a, a good idea if you can put the blanket or thick towel on the floor. And I'm gonna lift off the insulation. So this is the hose that we are replacing, that high loop, and it goes over there till that connection down there. Let's put a towel on the floor there on the knees in case we're going to have some water leaking out of the holes. So now we can use a 70 millimeter nut driver and uh, loosen up this hose clamp and pull this hose from the pump outlet. It's actually drain pump. All right. It's a good time to remove the clamp of the hose. We're going to use it again. Don't uh, throw it away. Okay, I'm going to pull out the uh, high loop drain hose. And I'm gonna pull it out of this clip. Then from uh, this one and the next one. And a couple of more. So now we can disconnect this hose clamp. I'm going to loosen up this uh, 7 millimeters hose clamp. I'm using a nut driver. Slide it off. And we're going to pull apart this joint. Be careful, at this point there's uh, water could be in the hose, uh, but as long as you keep it high, it will go down to the other end. Slide this hose clamp off, we're going to reuse it. This is the old high loop drain hose next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. All right, so let's place this uh, elbow end of the hose in. I'm gonna let it go for a while. Now. We're gonna connect this uh, elbow first. So let's install the hose clamp first. Then we're going to install the hose itself on the drain pump. And now we're gonna use a seven millimeter nut driver I'm going to tighten that clamp. Now we can remove the towel. And then we're going to route the drain hose into the clamps. 
let's place the drain holes in this first clamp here. Make sure that the hose is not touching any uh, edges, so it's kind of free. Then we continue going up. We're going to place the hose under this uh, first metal clamp, and I'm going to loop it and place it under the second clamp here. Perfect loop, and we turn it and placing it in this clamp here. And we go down, and this is the last one here. Now we can connect the drain hose to the drain tube. We're going to start with uh, placing that hose clamp on the tube here. And then we need to place this end inside this connector, the black rubber connector. Then I'm going to place the clamp on in between those two lines. It says clamp. And I'm going to tighten with a 7 millimeters nut driver. All right. Insert it. And now I can put the insulation back on. And now I can lift the uh, dishwasher, put it upright. Careful. And we can uh, slide the dishwasher under the countertop. Now we're going to duck under the counter and pull out the drain line, water supply line, and the power cord. And we can continue installing the dishwasher. Let's manually thread on the water line onto the shadow valve and tighten them using 5 8 open-ended wrench and then we can take out the towel and the container. Now I'm gonna install the drain holes to the air gap and push it on and slide the clamp on and I'm gonna tighten it using the 7 millimeter nut driver and next we're going to secure the dishwasher to the countertop with a couple of Phillips screws I'm using a field screwdriver and I'm going to tie it up so it wouldn't go anywhere. And now we can close the door. Turn the water on, plug the dishwasher in and run it to check for leaks. Hopefully there is none. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.